and I'm glad that I'm here today. I've seen it all. We have, we have a lot of aspirations for Nigeria, and we hope that finally, finally after 55 years, wow, 55 years, yes. You know, that when this boy came back, okay, it's as he came back, and people remember who he was, that's where things are going to work for us. Right. And I'm sure you know that um, Alison Marriott, the former petroleum minister, has been caught in London. Yeah. The British uh, government tried that for, for corruption, fraud. So it looks like it's, I don't know, but the age there are some kids, somebody who was 20 years old among the people being charged. So I don't know what is the family thing, but whatever it is. We're not asking her to, we just want her to bring back our money. We got her to marry, but I hope that good things will happen for the young people so that tomorrow, when we read the history, all the bad things will stop with Jonathan. Okay, thank you. So, um, what's your advice for Nigerians in British Columbia? My advice for Nigerians in British Columbia to be together. Be together, irrespective of the dialect that you speak, be together. Right. Come to the meeting, go together, go gossip among each other, protect each other. Wherever you are, wherever you go, wherever you are, protect each other. That gossip about each other. Okay. It doesn't pay off. Okay. That's the village thing. Okay. So let's protect each other. We hope for the best for our country. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a nice uh, celebration. I thank you. I'm happy. 55. Thank you. Thank you, Black Science. Uh, uh, this is the fifth anniversary of Nigeria in the end of our colonial role. Thank you very much. What dreams do you have for Nigeria? Dreams do you have for Nigeria? Wonderful dreams. Yeah. Dreams of oneness. I have a dream to see a Nigeria that dominates the nations of the world. Dominating the integrity, dominating in wisdom. We have the resources. What can make this dream possible? When we transit from self-governance that we seek from a nation that was brought us in that we are brought into to assimilation, trusting one another, respect, respecting one another, understanding that the Igbos, the houses, the rebels, the robbers, that they can live together as one. When we begin to do this, we we'll that, and we begin to realize that there is nobody greater than the other one, we will live together as one nation. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you, Abraham. And have a good celebration. And a happy, happy, happy celebration to Nigeria. To Nigeria. Long live Nigeria. Long live Nigeria. Cultural Development Association of BC. And long live the country where we are now, Canada. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Have a nice one. And thank you for your program. Thank you, sir. Thank you. President of South Africans in both in British Columbia, your name is South African Cultural Association of DC. Well, Sila Milanzi. Sila Milanzi, and you're the secretary. I'm the first person. Michelle Bosson. Michelle Bosson, welcome. Thank you. And we, we, while we're here, the menu is celebrating the 55th anniversary of uh, independence for colonial rule uh, from British uh, colonial rule. What dreams do you think, what dreams do you have for Africa, Africa as a continent? Um, I, I think it's important that Africa uh, works together um, in a way that there can be more importance in trade and um, to develop Africa in a much in a much more um, profitable way to uh, just have Africa move forward more in its, in its economic development. Okay, and for you, Mr. President. Um, the South African CEO, uh, we came to wish Nigeria uh, well in celebration of their independence. Um, what do you think, that, what are the potentials that we see in Africa? How can we harness it to make, to make Africa great? People here and um, people at home. You know, from 
way back during the apartheid regime, we always looked upon Nigeria as a, our mentor, a, a country of superior in Africa. We always depended on Nigeria to say that one day we'll be like them during the apartheid regime. So now, all we have to say is that congratulations, Nigeria, 55 years of colonial rule, but they endure, and hopefully South Africa will be the same like Nigeria. Um, I want to make sure you to be happy to see you around here. I've come to celebrate with them. And uh, the dream of all African years that all Africans should come together as one. And even if we don't have a, uh, an association, we should come together and send a political block. Because in Canada, the politics in, like, in Canada is played by members. What do you think, man? Well, I think, well, I, I, I just learned this evening of the um, goal that the Nigerian Association has to build Nigeria House, which I think is a, is a fantastic goal. And I hope uh, to see that uh, goal realized because I think that would be a really great way for all African associations to come together in a, in a center like this, that where this is being held today, where we can have um, and express our various cultures within the whole African continent and also um, come together as one people. Great. Thank you very much, and uh, we appreciate you coming. Uh, keep watching PMI. What do you have to say? Have you seen PMI in the uh, No, I, I don't. This is the first time I'm actually learning about it. So, can you look at the camera as well? I endorse PMI Media. I endorse PMI Media. And what are you, Mr. President? I, I endorse you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to Platform Media International, Mr. Alex Moses. What is your dream for Nigeria by celebrating the 55th anniversary of independence of Nigeria? In the, uh, of Nigeria? Um, we, will, we must have the dream that we want Nigeria to attain at this age. What, what are they? Well, thank you very much for inviting me here. I've been a country that has the right attributes. It's blessed with a lot of intelligent people. We have good wealth. We have good mineral resources. We are a good country. We are one of the greatest countries in Africa. One of the dreams, I think, are the equality dreams of every Nigerian. We want a stable government. We want a government that can buy for its people. We want a place where people can feel safe. We want a place where people feel they belong to. We want a country that moves forward. It's a country that we all aspire to be. Hopefully, um, with the help of our new president, we hope that uh, this country will move forward and uh, we will see the fruit of his uh, labor. Thank you. And any advice from Nigerians in British Columbia? Uh, advice is, uh, is for us not just to forget about Nigeria. First, we are Nigerians in the first place. But we came here, most of us came here because this was a better place. And uh, if we can do anything, whatever we can do with our uh, to make our country a better place, we should all do it. We should all go back if there is need for us to go back. Whatever we can do to support Nigeria, everybody should be putting the vibe for he or she has to make the country a better place. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, have a good celebration. Thank you so much. Welcome to PMI in our network. How are you feeling today on celebrating the 55th anniversary of independence? Mm, I'm happy for Nigeria for the 55th anniversary. Uh, this uh, Nigeria Association. Canadian Development Association. Nigeria Development Association of BC. Yes. I'm congratulating our members, Nigerians, our children. Sisters and brothers. Well, I'm happy. What can I say? Because I'm in a, I'm a, I'm in a Nigerian, Nigerian Canadian. Yes. But first night for me, I've already moved back to Nigeria. So I'm one of the people who are from the United States. Okay. But for me, what we need for Nigeria is we need somebody who can help us. What Nigeria out of the production. Because our leaders, our leaders 
we have, we don't have a nice Lagos. Okay. They didn't do nothing for us in Nigeria. Nigeria for 55 years. Since 65 years, there is nothing Nigeria can say we have earlier a shift from the from the from the from the So there is nothing. According to me, what I saw in Nigeria, please, we need our people back home. We need our people from abroad to come back home and put their mind on the on the sources for the Nigerians because as they are talking about the people in Nigeria, it's not helping us. Okay, good. It's good for them to come back home. People from the uh, uh, states, the uh, other uh, states, the states, the states, the states, and all the social media like that. They need to come back home yes. and help their people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Mia Naseste, and I would like to congratulate my Nigerian brothers and sisters for the 55th year of independence. Thank you. And I see the attire. Uh, we will be to you. Well, actually, this is the second year I attended your Independence Day party. I was there last year. Yeah. And uh, when I came, I was alone. I didn't know anybody. I made friends. Yeah. I made friends. And so, her name is Mary. And I told her that last year that I really liked and so she said, Oh, I have some at home. Uh, would you like to see some? So, here I am now. Yes. Second year, I'm not second year of attendance. So, I'm looking forward to wearing my Nigerian. So, I told my friends today I'm Nigerian. Thank you very much. 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 Yeah, 
So uh, our assessment is on our own potentials and our own ability to scream to them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The kids here are just so beautiful. They're so lovely. And uh, there's absolutely nuts. And they're very excited. And I'm very excited to have them. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I feel so blessed to be invited here. So, I'm very grateful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Keep watching. Thank you. So, I'm going to meet you in Nigeria. I'm going to meet you in Nigeria. I'm going to meet you in Nigeria. And today is a very wonderful day. So, what's your dream about Nigeria? Are you going to meet you in Nigeria? No. For Nigeria is for us to unite, to become a united Nigerian citizen in Canada. And what about the leadership back then? The leadership will tell you that we will have a successful election. And I believe that if we give our leader now, if we give them a choice, they have the potential of doing a very good thing. Thank you very much.